everybody. Thanks a lot, Mr. Chair. It's actually my pleasure to have you as the chair in two respective Tafsir Congresses. Uh, I am going to talk on Goje. Uh, I am the Foreign Relations Director of National Sport Forum Federation in Turkey, but besides, I am the President of National Goje Federation in Turkey, and I was very recently, on the last year, elected as the President of International Goce Confederation. So I have always been trying to create links between sport for all movement and Goce, uh, and that's why I, I wanted to uh, make a presentation. And now uh, I am going to present on a national project uh, which is conducted in Turkey. Uh, we are running uh, a uh, between North and Homs all around Turkey since last three years. But before introducing this project, I just would like to make a brief uh, introduction on Boce. Boce is one of the ancient sports. It's dating back to uh, 5th millennium BC uh, and first, tra first traces of the sport can be found in Egypt, in Nile, Nil Delta, and in Middle East, in Anatolia as well. Uh, and But as a sport, it was for the first time flourished during the uh, Greek and Roman Empire. And then through Roman Empire, it passed to main continent in Europe, and then afterwards to Asia and Latin America. But uh, during Middle Ages, uh, it also had some difficult times as well, as it was very much popular uh, among the societies. Many times and in many different regions, uh, the king or uh, queen preferred to uh, ban the sport for long years. But especially after the Renaissance in Europe, it flourished again and it became even more popular than before and uh, when we came into uh, 19th century, Boccia was one of the most popular games uh, among uh, the population in the Europe. Uh, as you may see in the photos, there are a lot of drawings, a lot of paintings on Boccia and different types. At the beginning, of course, during ancient times, people preferred to use some uh, rags or some stones or some fruits to play uh, games which are similar to Bacche. But after the Industrial Revolution, there was a boost uh, and they could easily create different types of balls. And now we have four main types of uh, Bacche games. One is the uh, Italian type, one is Italian and French mixed type, and one is a French uh, dominated version, and we have also a British version of the game as well. So you can see different uh, types of balls. The biggest is for lawn bowling, which is the British type, and the second is the synthetic ball, which is the Italian type, it is called Raffa in Italian. And the third and fourth are for uh, French type of the game. The smallest one is played uh, on the on any kind of area, and it's uh, really popular all around Europe. And now it's getting popular in Asia. It has been popular in uh, Africa and Latin America as well. This is called petang. And when it comes to the uh, international organization, we have three main international federations and they are combined under one confederation which is the umbrella organization uh, its name is in french confederation mondial sport Balls. and this confederation the umbrella organization has been recognized fully recognized by ioc since 1986 and just an article from uh, Amazon.com, according to the, this article, which was published in 2018, uh, Boce is one of the most popular outdoor activities, according to the reviewers' opinions calculated in Amazon.com. 
This is another article from EDC.com and it also refers to another part of the game uh, which is very much linked to cultural part of the sport and the quota, the quote here is very interesting watching a game is like uh, doing an anthropological research because it has a very long tradition in many societies and as you may see the Amrel organization of Boche uh, has been recognized by International Olympic Committee since uh, 1986. Boche is one of the Paralympic uh, sports as well and we have a colleague here uh, from Portugal who is an expert in Boche. And it's also included in Special Olympics so mentally distorted people are also playing Boche. And CMSP is included in ARIS Support Accord, International Mediterranean Games, World Games, uh, African Games, and recently this year uh, it was accepted to be included in Pan American Games as well. And as Bocce Sport, we had a very strong bidding for 2024 Olympic Games, but uh, it was ended unsuccessfully at the beginning of this year and uh, the first uh, organizing committee of Paris 2024 and then afterwards IOC accepted breakdancing as the uh, new sport for 2024. So now I would like to introduce the project which we implement in Turkey. Uh, Boce is a real sport for all type of sport. Uh, even very young generations, up to very elderly people, they can easily practice and enjoy the sport. You can see two pictures here. Uh, one, a practice from kindergarten and another from the project which we implement in Turkey. Uh, there are a lot of pictures here. Uh, this is the pictures from Bocelik conducted in Turkey since last three years. And I will just show a movie about the implementation of this project. <coughs> this was, this is a film which was prepared from the finals of the league conducted in 2017, two years ago. Actually, that year, 84 nursery homes participated in the league. At the beginning of the league, we had some internal practices in the nursery homes. And afterwards, the nursery homes select a team composed of eight players. And then these eight players uh, visit other nursery homes and play the league. Uh, we have eight different groups. In the eight groups, we qualify four teams, and uh, at the end, the four teams uh, they meet in the uh, national final. And this year's final is be, is going to be organized next week. And uh, 32 best teams meet each other in the finals of nursery homes. Uh, Bocelli. These are the uh, participants in the final of 2017 and we also conducted uh, a research uh, just last year and tried to compare the uh, difference between tried to compare the difference between participants and non-participants -particip doing in nursery homes and we had quite interesting results and we also uh, prepared an article on this issue. We tried to uh, measure the levels of depression and happiness levels of elderly people participating in uh, Bocelli and uh, it was very satisfactory for the Minister of Family and Minister of Health uh, as uh, the results of this research uh, provided uh, proof that uh, Boche is helping for the 
happy aging, healthy aging of elderly people in Turkey. So you can see a lot of elderly people practicing boce, but this boce is a modified version of the styles I had intro introduced at the beginning. This is not exactly raffa, long balls or petang. This is a model cre created by myself to introduce for the elderly people. So the cord is shorter than the normal boce cord. Uh, we use petang balls and in many cases we try to color the balls to make it easier for the elderly people to understand it. And uh, the rules are much easier when compared to regular boccia practice. Uh, and it's really very easy to understand, very easy to play, and very easy to cope with the competition for the elderly people. Uh, this project also helped our national federation to promote boccia all over the country because whenever there is a special day for elderly people, for uh, national days for religious festivals, the local authorities, the deputies, the bureaucrats always visit nursery homes. And there is only one option for them to uh, share with the elderly people, it is boccia practice because now in all over the country we have at least two courts in all nursery homes. So uh, you can see in the photos in the films that a lot of people wearing ties, they are visiting nursery homes. So since last three years we have a big coverage of nursery homes project in the national press in Turkey. So this is uh, also a good promotion for the sport. Whenever we organize some other kinds of regular boccia activities under our national federation, uh, they People, official people always say that they had seen this support for the first time in nursery homes. Since, uh, although it's a very uh, newly adopted project, only the last three years, it has been a big success in Turkey. And uh, now, under International Boccia Confederation, we are planning to make an international, international version of, the, uh, of this application as well. And as CBI, we are going to be a part of TAFISA uh, in today's General Assembly in, uh, this evening. And then afterwards, perhaps, we will try to implement some project with TAFISA and CBI cooperation. Thanks a lot for your attendance. It's completed. With, with the time. Thank you, Professor Turkmen. Uh, Boccia is very popular in Turkey yeah. and uh, actually I'm a long bowling player. <laughs> I represent our words and represent the national team in past games, but I don't want to, I'm not going to play Boccia against you. <laughs> no problem. Is there any question? Okay, thank you very much. Okay.